Hey guys, Will Hickel here, my home studio in Dallas. Um, just want to tell you guys about Send Down Your Spirit, uh, a song that I wrote a few years ago, um, and just kind of break it down, uh, the story behind it, etc. And so, um, it all started when I was planning for liturgy, and one of, I think it was like the second reading, was um, a reading from James. And I'll read this to you real quick. Um, it's from James chapter 3, verse 16 through chapter 4, verse 3. And it, it goes, Beloved, where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder in every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is, first of all, pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? Um, and then it goes on. But um, I kind of stopped there because I think that's what struck me, the, the kind of talking about a war being within us and, and kind of, you know, calling upon Lord for his wisdom and his peace and his gentle, compliant mercy and, and good fruits. Um, and um, I, it just, I was reflecting with that, and that's kind of where the chorus was born you know, Lord, send on your spirit, let me receive your peace. Lord, send on your wisdom, let my trust in you increase. Um, and then I kind of built the song around that. And so in terms of building the song and, and writing it, um, I had been, you know, reflecting on these, these really cool CCM songs that we use to open up youth nights or even open up mass, like uh, this is Amazing Grace, or Lion and the Lamb, or Your Love Awakens Me. And so, you know, Lion and the Lamb, you've got that intro lick. Right? And then, uh, This is Amazing Grace. And so, I was kind of looking at those, how they're framed, and what the progressions behind them are. And, um, and that's basically where how I how I kind of reverse engineered and created my lick to sound similar but also you know be completely unique right um, and so um, you know and then in terms of the arrangement and the production we were trying to make it have that high energy um, so that you could open up a youth conference with it or open up liturgy with it um, and so in terms of playing in the liturgy you know I would suggest like yeah use the lick to kind of um, as a theme um, with, with the piano, or if you want to play it on the guitar, obviously not every parish is going to allow for a full band, massive production and, um, you know, crazy screaming electric guitars or anything. But, um, but the, the lick really does sound good, um, with the piano by itself and, um, you know, just kind of arranging it with, with, you know, a cajon and a guitar is kind of, uh, what I would suggest for mass. Um, and then, of course, if you're playing a festival or a youth night or something, go as big as you want. Um, and I think that's kind of the nice design of this song, is it can be played super stripped down. Um, and it can be played, you know, with, with multi-tracks that are available on Loop Community, um, etc. And so, um, you know, the recording of it, I, I was thinking of doing it uh, myself, but... I just I just felt really prompted to to reach out to other people and I, I I presented it to John Finch and he graciously you know accepted to do it um, and make it a part of his ministry um, and and he's really made it his own so I'm really I'm really grateful that we've gotten to share that that um, he would accept a song that he didn't write um, but also take it and just do it so well um, and so without further ado. Um, I will pass it over to him to perform it for you. My broken heart cannot 
Spirit.